In today's ICT lesson, I'm going to walk you through animating and programming your very own greeting card. Before you get started creating games and animations, you need to become familiar with how to use the workshop in Tinker. If you are ready to get started, let's go ahead and hop on into the Tinker workshop. So, the main stage is divided into three sections. The first contains all the programming blocks which can be dragged onto the middle screen. The middle screen is where the algorithm is created and the third section is where the end product is run. Step 1. Choose a background. The first thing you will want to do when creating your greeting card is pick your look. What background you want the stage to have? Let's choose a background by dragging out these blocks, starting from unstart and switch to background. For example, you here on the white area, you can choose which one you think is the best. I think I like this one, Spring Card. Also, at any point, you can see all the actors or characters that you have added your project so you can add or create your own actor or character by using add actor button and choose the media library the media library contains thousands of images or backgrounds and also people and animals it even has music and sounds to make your project more interesting Step 2. Add background music. Now, let's drag another block to the stage, so the music plays forever. So anything attached to this block will run as soon as you press play in your program. There we go. So this code should repeat our music track over and over. Now I'm going to take a short break here and click play to make sure that my music runs correctly. Step 3. Choose the message. In order to choose a message to display, you need to drag these two blocks on starts and switch to custom. On the white area of the switch to custom, you can choose a starting message. For example, happy birthday, birthday or happy holidays. Let's choose love, peace, joy. Also, you have to drag this code into the message actor when actor clicked and then play sound. The turn block inside repeat loop spins the message in a circle. So currently it spins 72 times 10 that is 720 degrees. So it means it will uh, spin it for two circles. Step 4. Let's make the character to dance. In order to make the character to dance, you need to drag these coding blocks. When actor clicked and inside of forever loop animate dance. You also can change it. Here on the white area of the animate block, you can choose another animate. For example, uh, fall. Or hit cry. I think I like dance the most. Now, let me test this program one last time. Beautiful. Now, I think it's your turn. 
Let's try out your project to test the animations and think what else can you animate?